Okay, here we are on a show of uh, something I, I, I stumbled upon, a way to polish dies. And I wanted to make a video of this so I don't forget. Okay, here we are on the lathe. Now this piece right here is a um, slug that fits that was made by that die but I took it out and put it on this shaft and spun it in the lathe and sanded it so it's uh, probably about five thousandths maybe ten thousandths smaller diameter than the lathe and um, you can see on this end um, I don't have the um, chuck tight in the quill. I want that loose so it spins. See that? Now when I turn this on, I haven't had this on in a while, so let's see how it works. When I turn this on, it uh, it it polishes. I have um, 600 grit uh, diamond lapping compound on there right now. It polishes and it wants to spin. Now the more, the warmer it gets, the less friction and less it'll want to spin. But what I devised was having that, letting that spin in there. I'm just going back and forth with it in the spindle. See how it kind of bounces? It'll bounce in and out. And another thing I discovered, I hope this doesn't get caught on there, but I use something else here. What I discovered, if you hold something on that thread while it's spinning, it forces it out. So I could make a little mechanism that falls on the on the thread, forcing it out, and then letting it go back in. I could put a very fine spring on here so it pushes it a little bit or even put the lathe on a little bit of an angle lift up the back end so uh, it's got um, gravity pulling that back in that way it moves back and forth by itself and it's getting the whole bearing surface of that. It's getting the whole bearing surface of the uh, of the um, die. I'm looking for something I can hold that one here. Something. So, to have a spring push it in, I'm going to put this back a little bit. Have a spring here pushing it in, then have this fall, and then when it gets to there, kick it off like a, a little trip mechanism. So it kicks it back up. So it keeps going back and forth, in and out. And that would be a good automated way to polish these guys. But I actually run it faster.
so for now I'm doing it by hand. <clears throat> but this is a this would be a nice way to do it. And um, I uh, polished that a little bit, I think, with 320 grit, just a little. <clears throat> now I'm getting it with 600. Then I'm gonna go to finer stuff because I want to make it nice and mirror. Mirror polish on this guy because I want the bullets to come out really easy with hardly a tap. That's what I wanted to show. Thanks for watching.